Hi and welcome to video 11 on this series of Unit 4, Topic 2. And um, we're looking at forces, force diagrams, and Newton's laws in this case. Um, so I just want to bring up a couple of things, particularly if you're in my lessons. Um, so I've learnt certain things, and Cambridge, our textbook, uses certain things, um, and the syllabus models are very little bit, but let's just talk about those just in case you do see them. So firstly, one, friction. I've learnt to call it FF, and Cambridge uses FR. Now, FR is... I don't mind FR, and I see why they do it. FF, well, it's, it's pretty perfect because it's the frictional force. Um, I've also got the normal reaction force. Sometimes I call that N. I do see that. Um, why would you call it N when you've also got Newtons called N? So that's a bit of a problem, and I don't know where I got that from, but I've got it, so I'll try and avoid it. Um, but, of course, R is the other one. That's what Cambridge uses, which is why we have FR. So I'm going to try and stick to these guys, but we'll see how we go. Um, you also sometimes see Fn as the normal reactive force, and no, you don't sometimes see smiley faces friction. It's just there are no others I could come up with, so I put a smiley face there. Uh, so that's what I'll try and use, and that's what I may use, and we'll see how we go. So example three, last example before I finish just this section of the topic. A 20 kilogram body is being pulled along a rough plane where mu is 0.35, so we're given our mu. Uh, the force changes the velocity of the body from 0 to 15 metres per second in 8 seconds. Find the magnitude of the constant force being applied. So, uh, what we really need to find is the acceleration. And to find the acceleration, we're assuming that constant change in velocity, we can develop an acceleration value and we can provide some information about our force. But let's start with our force diagram. So, our force diagram is going to be... Uh, this again, it's a block being pushed along a rough surface. It's a 20 kilogram block. And it's, again, it's got multiple forces. So it's got this, um, it's being pulled in this direction, MA. But it's also got this frictional force, FR. Um, so, and that's equal to mu times R. And then we also have the reactive force, R. And that's equal to the weight. And we also have the weight. And we're on Earth is the assumption. So the weight is equal to mg. Um, and then that opposite with the reactive force. So we've got a 20 kilogram body, which means we know a few things about this. We know the weight is equal to 20g, uh, which is 196 newtons. And therefore, r is equal to 20g as well, but in the opposite direction. And therefore, fr is equal to and this is FR max, by the way, is equal to 0.35 times 20G, and 0.35 times 20G is 7G, so we've got that information as well, and we've got F as well is equal to 20 times A. And we can set up our overall resultant force. We know it has no J component, so let's just look at the I component. Um, the resultant force F is equal to um, 20A, the force in the I positive component, and that's a G, my apologies, 20A, minus 7G. And we know that that was enough to move it forward to 15 metres per second in 8 seconds. So, the acceleration, in this case, because it's starting from 0 to 15, well, the acceleration is going to be the change in velocity over the change in time. That's just our basic um, average rate of change formula. In this case, the change in velocity is 15, change in time is 8, and that's equal to 1.875 metres per second squared. That's our acceleration. So we know that our acceleration is part of our, that's our, comes from our resultant force. So we have F, our resultant force, is equal to 20A minus 7G, but it's also equal to m times a, and so 20a minus 7g is equal to um, m, so m, which is 20 times by the acceleration, which is 1.875. So we can now do that calculation and work out the overall force that's being provided um, here, this purple force 
um, our MA and the acceleration that that force provides, but it does work against the frictional force. So we get this 20A is equal to 20 times 1.875 plus 7 times the gravitational constant 9.8 and that is equal to 104.14 um, and so that's in Newtons so therefore um, the magnitude of the constant force being applied is equal to 104.14 newtons and I did get down to that 20a but I don't have to calculate the acceleration of the force being applied just the magnitude so I can leave it as 20a um, so there's the answer to that question and that's the end of video 11 if you're working from the Cambridge text we're in 14f at the moment and there's the questions that I recommend all the best